Margaret channel. I hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I've got part two of my Akhtar reading vlog. So if you would have seen part one a couple months ago, then you would know that I did read the first book. And let's just say that book, it was an experience and a half, let's just say, but I did decide to carry on the whole series because it's just constantly my For You page. So I just thought, let's carry it on and hopefully become an actor girly like everyone else's except for me. It's like with the Magnolia Park universe, like everyone loves it but then I don't. So I thought I'd carry it on. I have already read the book. <laughs> this is the thing. I did film the intro to this video. Um, let's just say I didn't like it when I started editing the video so I was like let's just sit down and do the intro again. So I've already read it and I have already got my thoughts so you'd see it in the video but I thought I have to do an intro again so even though I'm starting this intro, I already know how I feel about this book. But if you do want to know my opinions, then please keep on watching. If you're the first time that you clicked on one of my videos and you enjoy book content, lifestyle content, clothing videos occasionally, beauty stuff, vlogs, all that type of thing, then please hit the subscribe button and like this video. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to the video. I thought I'd give you an update of where I'm at with A Course of Mist and Fury. I am on page 69 and so far I'm really enjoying this one a lot more than Akatar. I did not really like Akatar at all, I felt like the characters were boring, there was nothing going on in the plot but for this one I feel like we're getting more of a plot this one and for kind of focusing more on Feyre and what she's going through and then like Reese and is in it more in this book in the first 69 pages than he has been in the entirety of the first book so I'm excited to see more of him and kind of him and Feyre's dynamic and they have so much more chemistry even when they're fighting compared to Tamlin and Feyre like Tamlin and Feyre have no chemistry whatsoever like there was literally a sex scene in the first like two chapters of this book was there any chemistry between them? Nope, zilch. So I'm enjoying this one a lot more. So I've only read literally just more than 10% of it. I'm going to read more of it now for the next probably like hour or so. have been listening to the A Court of Mist and Fury playlist on Spotify and there's so many good songs on there. So it kind of gives you that like feel of reading fancy romances. I feel like in Actar that was all the world building and in this book we're going to have like all the drama and all that type of thing so I'm excited to carry on and said I'm going more of it for the next hour or so and then I'll update you guys tonight but so far so far I'm liking it I'm liking Feyre more in this book I already love Rhysand like he's just so unbothered and <laughs> I just love him and I still love Lucian like I'll definitely say I don't like Tamlin but I love Lucian something about Lucian like I just want to give him a hug like I love him and I'm just like intrigued for when the bat boy is going to get introduced and then like Nesta and Lane are going to have more of a role. With Nesta and Lane like I really feel like Nesta I think I'm going to like her because I love Rose Calloway so I think I might like Elaine I feel like I'm just going to get annoyed by her. I feel like she's one of those like annoying girl characters so yeah and then I'm excited to kind of see Asriel and Cassian getting introduced as well so I've only read literally just last 70 pages so I can't really give you a full-on review yet but I feel like this book is going to be a lot better than Akatar. Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you an update. I have read a bit more of the book and I have literally just finished part one. I didn't actually know if this book has like different parts until I started reading it. So I'm on page 134, I would say. And so far, I'm enjoying this one so much more than the first book in the series. And I've only read about like just over 20% of the way through. I'm kind of glad we're getting some character development with Feyre. Like she, it's hard to kind of talk about this book without giving spoilers, but she, is becoming a stronger female character. She wants to do more for people around her. She doesn't want to be trapped. I feel like she's going to turn into a badass, which I'm excited about. Tamlin, let's just say, I didn't like Tamlin in the first book. And then I disliked him more at the beginning of this book. And then uh, what I just read at the end of the part one, I absolutely hate him. Like, if you've read this book, you'll know what I'm talking about. You will know. And I was just like, what in your brain makes you think this is the right thing to do? Really don't like him, but I don't want to like just spend time talking about him. Resand or Rice and how you say his name. 
he just makes me giggle. This is the thing, in the first book, I didn't think I laughed once. Now when he's in scenes, like I just giggle. He has great sense of humor. You can tell that he's struggling with trauma, like Faye was struggling with trauma. And I feel like that's gonna bring them closer together about that shared trauma. But I'm just enjoying this a lot more. I am. I think the first part was good. It wasn't boring. I wasn't bored in any parts of it. There was always something happening. We're getting introduced to more characters. And I'm just liking the setting of this book more. In the first book, we literally had like two settings. But in this, we're getting more characters. We've literally just been introduced to like a new place, which everybody talks about. It's, I can't say what it is because it's not a spoiler, but I don't even know how you say it. Valeris? Valaris? I don't even know how you say it. Ryson City, let's just say. And I'm excited to kind of get introduced to the characters from there and kind of start to get the found family, which I know we're going to get from this book. I don't think I'm going to read any more tonight because I've just finished part one, so I kind of want to leave it there for tonight. But then I'll carry on tomorrow and I'll give you another update tomorrow morning when I read more. But yeah, so far, I'm surprised because I did like the first one, but this one, I feel like I'm going to start to really enjoy this series. But I don't know if it's literally just because this one people say is everyone's favourite. And I don't know if it's going to go like down, up, and then it goes like back down. Hopefully now that I've just read the first one, got through that slowly, the series is going to keep on getting up and up from here. That's what I'm hoping anyway, but so far, so far so good. Hi guys, so it's actually the next day now and it's quite a little bit later on on Monday. It's currently just before four o'clock in the afternoon slash evening because it's already dark outside but I thought I'd give you an update of where I'm at of Caught Miss and Fury. I've actually read it quite a lot. I'm on page 236 so I'm probably around just before 40% of the way through and I thought I'd kind of give you an update after I've read quite a bit today but so far I'm still having a fun time with it. I feel like so far at the book, it is a bit more like slow with the plot because we're getting introduced to new characters. We've been introduced to Azriel and Cassian. I'm really liking both their characters and also Amrin and Moor. So it's kind of focusing right now on them characters, building up their personalities, and then also focusing on Reese a little bit of what he's kind of gone through. And then also with Feyre, with the events that happened at the end of book one and how she's dealing with this book. But yeah, I said the plot's a little bit slower, but I'm really liking how we're getting more characters and their personalities. And all the characters are very likeable, except from Tamlin. Uh, I didn't, did I update you on last night? I think I did. I think I updated you after reading part one, I think. But yeah, I hate Tamlin. Like, that's the only character I hate. I really want Lucian to get introduced again. I don't know when he will, but I really want him to. We're kind of building Feyre and Bryce Hand up as well. Like, it's going to be very much of a slow burn. Like, I already know what chapter because it's a certain chapter that everyone talks about on TikTok of when, I don't know if it's when they sleep together the first time where they actually get together but I kind of know what chapter it is but it's kind of starting there to be a friendship between them and so far like I prefer Resand so much better to Tamlin because Tamlin was always very kind of possessive over Feyre, treated her not well. Feyre was wanting to become more of an independent woman and there's kind of like a war that's going to happen in this book which we are building up to and she wants to be a part of that she wants to get revenge on certain people and Tamlin has always been like you can't do this you can't fight you can't do this like I'm trying to like kind of keep her as his captive type of thing that's kind of what it felt like when reading but Rhysand or Ryzen however you say his name he wants the best for Feyre and he's letting her do what she wants to do which I've really like and prefer. It's kind of giving me like Adam and Aaron kind of vibes from the Shatme series. I feel like the plot is going to keep on building so I'm still only like 40% of the way through so I knew at like the first half of this book especially like it's not going to be like action or anything like that like that's what we're building up to it but yeah I'm pleasantly surprised let's just say. I'm probably going to read another probably about like 100 pages today so I'd finish today just over halfway through that's what I'm aiming to do so I'm going to try to read as much as possible tonight um and then i'll give you an update as well tonight of where i'm up to and how i think about the book i might become a bit of an avatar early it might happen i didn't think it would i didn't think i was going to be able to finish the first book but from reading this i feel like the series is going to keep getting better and better and i might become an avatar early who knows <laughs>
Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. I didn't actually update you guys last night because I didn't really read too much to update you on, but I have read more this morning. I'm currently on page 362, so I've only got about like... That was loud. <laughs> I'm currently on page 362, so I've got about 250 pages remaining, and I was still having a really fun time with it. I feel like we're now kind of getting more into the plot of the story, where the characters are going on missions and like traveling and that is what I like to read in like fantasy romances. It's hard to talk about it without giving spoilers but they're kind of getting ready for the war. But yeah, I'm really loving Resand. I think he's great. He has like a humor side to him. He's also just so sweet to favor and like sweeter than I thought he was because he's kind of guys being more morally gray. And I don't know if it's just because I've read so many guy characters in books who are like full on morally gray that read about Resand. I just think he's sweet. Favourite, I'm still not like 100% sure on her. I feel like she's a little bit boring and I, I don't know. I like her, like she's fine, but I'm kind of waiting for her to be a badass, but I feel like that will happen later on in this book slash the series. But the side characters, Cassian and Azrael, I do really like, even though we haven't had too many scenes of them. I love Amrin. I think she's great. I absolutely adore her. She's such a like a cool female character. She's my favourite female character in the series so far. And we have like Nessa and Lane in a couple of scenes in this book. And Nessa and Cassian were introduced. And like already just in one scene between them, you could tell the tension between them. Let's just say I'm very excited for them. But yeah, overall, I'm still having a really fun time with it. Just so much better than the first book. I'm um, getting through this book quite quickly. I don't think I'll be able to finish it today. I'm hopefully gonna finish it tomorrow. I feel like because I still have 250 pages remaining and I have so much to do today that I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. So I'll finish it tomorrow and that means that I read this over 600 page book in three days, which I think that's good considering the writing is tiny and considering that fantasy romances I'm very picky of and I can get easily bored, but I'm not getting bored with this book at all which is a good sign for me. So love the characters. I think the plot is a lot more interesting in this. We're kind of getting more romance, very much a slow burn, which I'm happy about. And yeah, I'm just, I just think it's good. Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you an update of where I'm at of Court Miss and Fury. I'm currently on page 452, chapter 46. So I've probably got around 160 pages left. I'm not gonna finish it tonight. I'm gonna probably read another like 60 pages and then I'll be done for the evening. We are getting a lot more of recent favorite and the romance between them. I kind of expected them to be more of like an enemy sort of situation. But it is more of a friend to lovers, which I'm kind of surprised at. It's very much a slow burn, but you do get less angst in the book in the sense of like the angst that I like but I feel like you do get that slow burn you have really cute moments between them that I absolutely love and I am really really liking them I feel like favourite start to grow on me resigned a lot less morally grey than I thought he was gonna be the plot of this book there's not like too much happening in this book right now in the sense of we're still having adventures between the characters but I feel like this book is very much more focused on the characters and the character development between Resign and favor and them together. I bet that is what this book is focusing more on. But I'm still really enjoying it. As I said I do like the romance, and I feel like the end of this book, the last probably like hundred pages, that happens with every single fantasy romance. Is you're gonna get like all the action, and the war's gonna happen then. But yeah, I've only got about 160 pages left, so I'll definitely finish it tomorrow morning slash tomorrow afternoon. So the fact that I've read all this, I'm gonna read this book in like three days. I'm quite proud of. And I said in the last clip, is I'm just not getting bored. Which is great because fancy romances, I say it all the time, is I do have times that I just get bored. There's always development in the romance and I feel like the characters, all of them that we have in this book, like the main characters are all very likeable. You know, like in Akatar, we had a lot of Tamlin and I was like, I don't care about him. I don't like him. I like the romance, I love the characters and I feel like the plot from now to the end is gonna build up, which I'm excited about. Hi guys, so I have just finished A Court of Miss and Fury, and let's just say overall, I really enjoyed it. I'm kind of debating whether or not to give it a four star and a 4.25. I'm not really sure yet, because it's kind of like in the middle of that, but this one was just so much better than Akatar. The last 80 pages was a whirlwind of emotions. Like, I did not know how this book was gonna end. I kind of knew something, from what I've seen on TikTok, but I didn't really know how it was gonna end. But um, let's just say it was a lot, but overall I did have a really fun time with it. I felt like in this book, I was kind of expecting more action in it. Like I thought there was actually like a war in this, but I think that's gonna be in the 
next one which is not the novella a court of wings and ruin i think i think that's where all the action is going to be i felt like this book because it was second book kind of more prioritized the characters getting introduced to new characters and the romance so i feel like that's what this one was prioritizing but i still really enjoyed it there was no aspects where i was bored i really love resand favorite she had such character development near the end of this book like she did finally become a badass and i was like i'm waiting for this moment i definitely resand helped with that becoming more of an independent woman and there was a another plot twist near the end that i was not expecting i was like what i'm so excited for cassian and nesta like their chemistry together is amazing and elaine i kind of think she can end up with two people i'm not going to say who it is but um, we kind of found something out at the end of this book that was just like, oh, okay, did not expect that. But overall, yeah, I really, really loved it. I'm kind of intrigued to how the events at the end of this one will carry on into the next one. But um, I really love the found family in this as well, like the friendships that we got and this was amazing. What I will mention though is like people always say that Rayson's more morally grey. However... I don't think he's morally grey. Like, I thought he was, like, very much of a green flag. I don't know if that's just because I read so many books about guys who are low-key toxic that in my head re was actually, like, very much, like, a green flag. How is this book YA? I think it might not be YA anymore, but, like, when these books came out, they were YA. Like, there was smut in this, and I was like, this is not very YA. Like, we had a smut scene in Akatar, but it wasn't a lot. But then, if you know the chapter I'm talking about, like, that was very, very not YA. So, I'm not complaining, though, because I read some more. Um, but, yeah, those are all my opinions. Said this was spoiler-free reading vlog. It's kind of hard to talk about books without giving spoilers. But I really did love this one. Is this my favourite fantasy romance I've ever read? No. Like, I loved Seth Rings and Night. I loved Van Rivals. And I loved the Prison Healer trilogy. But I feel like this one's, like, after that. I do want to read Throne of Glass as well. But I kind of want to read all of these books first. And then go into Throne of Glass. This series is kind of long and it isn't finished yet. But Throne of Glass is like, is that like eight or nine books? It's a lot. And then I do want to read, I don't know what series it's called. It's called like Crescent City. So it's called, I'm not sure. But I want to read them as well. Um, but I feel like Throne of Glass might be my favourite. I've just got a funny feeling. But um, I'm excited to carry on this whole series. So yeah, that's all for my reading vlog. I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below your kind of opinions on this book. Your opinions on the whole series. Who your favourite characters are. Who your favourite couples are. Let me know. But as always, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a brand new video. Bye.